Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ebenezer Mwakwenki and you are welcome to Christian Trend. So, uh, yesterday, that is 25th uh, for June, was Apostle Joshua Salman's birthday. Now, a lot of people celebrated when you go on Twitter. I think um, around 1 p.m. GMT day, Apostle Salman was uh, trending number one on Twitter. So, you can imagine, a lot of people sent him messages and a uh, whole lot. Now, we all know that. Uh, I think that's during the COVID. Uh, that was that's 2020. And that was the first time uh, Apostle Salman did a birthday broadcast. Yes, and 2021 too, he did a birthday pro- broadcast. 2022 too, he did a birthday broadcast. Now realize that in 2022, uh, it happened on a Saturday. 2021, it happened on on a Monday. Sorry, on a Friday. And in the COVID, it happened on a Thursday. Now, uh, this year, the birthday happened to actually come on, uh, how do I call it? The birthday happened on the, that was Sunday, yes. So, people were like, okay, so is Apostle going to have a birthday broadcast uh, on Sunday morning and have a service, I mean, in the evening? There was no birthday broadcast. So, Apostle had to go by the uh, miracles because... 25th of June 2023 was the last Sunday in the month of June in which it's it's a miracle service at Koinonia, Eternity Network International. So that was what happened. Now you ask that uh, a lot of people wish Apostle Jesus Selman happy birthday. Apostle Selman is not on social media. Now Apostle Selman finally uh, doing the Koinonia service uh, gave a response or showed appreciation to people for actually um celebrating him on his birthday now during the colonial service uh, there is a part that was so uh amazing and funny for the said something and uh, so let's let's get into the video when we get there i'll let you know what apostle actually uh, let everyone return with a testimony service. for in jesus mighty name we have prayed god bless you please be seated Hallelujah. Thank you very much for um, all of the celebrations. My sincere apologies. I'm sure you know. So you realize that now when, when, when the people, I mean, when Apostle prayed, uh, most people were expecting something like uh, some birthday kind of uh, talk or kind of uh, broadcast kind of talk. But Apostle said that as far as I am concerned, it is a miracle service and that was i mean kind of an amazing and it was it was an atmosphere's kind of uh, laughter or something like as a everybody was happy he said that as far as i'm concerned as i'm standing here i'm not celebrating a birthday but then we actually have to have a miracle service yes yeah, so that was a, a fun time also had know me by now people. um once you celebrate me just take it as um me saying thank you i've tried and tried to like it but it just doesn't work hallelujah let's bless the lord for reverend sam Oye. he just came in blessings to you sir thank you thank you sir and then bless the lord for one of our fathers daddy tula thank you all the way from zaria we honor you sir thank you hallelujah praise the name of the lord a few things to share and then i'll pray and minister as far as I'm concerned, I came for a miracle service. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But thank you. I shouldn't take it for granted. I want to seriously um, thank our global family and all who have invested their time, resources to celebrate this day. Thank you. It's a privilege to be alive, especially when you live in a very wicked world. Hallelujah. Yes. It is so true. Now, where we are getting r- right now, I want you to pay a very, very good attention. Even though it was a response that Apostle was giving concerning the birthday, but it is really, really a life lesson you have to learn. Apostle said a lot. <laughs> so please, the rest of this video, make sure that you pay a very, very good attention and listen to every single thing that apostle selman is saying 
right now. So let's get into uh, that. Uh, Praise the name that of the Lord. The Bible says, Now uh, are we of God speaking. and the whole world lieth in wickedness. I think it was yesterday or so, I was told about a man who returned home, not sick. They served him his food. He ate, sat back on the chair, took a deep breath and died. That was it. No traceable sickness. Um, so never take life for granted. Hallelujah. The psalmist said in Psalm 3, I slept and I waked. He said, I lay me down and I wait for the Lord. Sustain me. It is God that sustains men. There are people who have been sick. You would think they would die, but they refuse to die for many years. There are others who can be healthy and vibrant and yet for no known reason. They just die. So we thank God and I'm grateful to God for the gift of life. As far as I'm concerned, birthdays are not just celebrating longevity, but celebrating the reason for which you were born. I believe you are only qualified to celebrate birthdays when you are walking in purpose. Hallelujah. Otherwise, you are just adding painful memories that you're wasting time and wasting the gift of long life. So it's a privilege to do that which we do and for as long as he grants us breath, we continue, but I must say thank you. Thank you. Um, I have taught you here that not everybody thinks you are a big deal. So when you find people who can invest their attention, their love, their gratitude, um, you should not take them for granted. So I'm speaking to our global family and then the body of Christ, not just in Nigeria. Thank you for celebrating me. I sincerely appreciate. I'm not on social media, but I'm wise enough to know that... Um, you celebrated me and from the depth of your heart you did so and I'm communicating my gratitude. May the Lord bless you. May celebration never depart from your life. In Jesus name I pray. So now, <coughs> you, see, you heard the last verse said that may celebration never leave you. Listen, when people are celebrating uh, an event in their lives, Make sure you join in that celebration. You know, there are some people that when someone is uh, celebrating, it could be a marriage anniversary, it could be a birthday, it could be um, a wedding ceremony, it could be a naming ceremony. Like, you don't share in their joy. It is not good. You see, when you share in the joy of people, definitely, naturally, that is going to happen. You are also going to have that kind of joy that the person was having it is a natural thing yeah so please if you are listening to me or if you are watching this video and you know, are the kind of person that uh, is not happy when others are happy you better change because it's not going to actually and then of course i really want to say thank you to the lord listen this man you see standing before you is a man that has been helped by god i know what it means to receive help from god hallelujah we live in a world where people can brag over intellect, brag over money, brag over my real investment and my real asset is God. Hallelujah. And he's been the surest. I can lose anything in my life. I don't mind, but not his presence. I have learned by experience the value of his presence. I know many people say if you have God, you have everything, but most people don't mean it. They don't even understand what they're saying. But I can tell you, if God helps you to journey a bit in life and in leadership, you will come to a conclusion that the only thing worth your time and your life in truth is the presence of God. Hallelujah. You can have money. Money is not evil, but you have it minus the presence of God, you'll get into trouble eventually. You can have fame minus the presence of God. The same people who said, give us bread, we'll make you king, will one day say, crucify him. They will look you to your face and say, crucify him. We don't care that he gave us bread yesterday. As far as today is concerned, crucify him. Hallelujah. You can have human connections, but even Judas can give you a kiss that spells betrayal. The only friend that sticketh closer than a brother is God himself. And let me straight up encourage someone, no matter what you think is worth celebrating in your life, ensure that your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ becomes inexperienced, not by church talk, your greatest asset. Hallelujah. 
by reason of what I do, I have been around many, many families that lose their loved ones. I'm not a doctor, but I've seen many dead bodies in my life. Many enough to preach to me the brevity and the vanity of life outside of Jesus. I have watched millionaires die. I have watched professors die. I have watched children die. I have watched doctors die. I have watched preachers die. I have watched sinners die. I have watched those who planned their death die. I have watched old successful people die. I've watched stubborn people who ran away from Jesus die. I've seen all kinds of things. Enough to be a lesson that a life without Jesus Christ. Listen, this is not a Christian concept. One day sooner or later we will learn that anything minus Jesus is truly a waste of time. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Yes. So my gratitude goes to God. I think it's Psalm 103 that says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. All that is within me, praise his holy name. Verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. What are they? Verse 3. It says, Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? That is the first benefit. Number two, who healed all thy disease. Three, four, who redeemed your life, preservation from destruction. Four, honor, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Five, who satisfied thy mouth, provision with good things, so that thy youth is renewed. What kind of food do you eat that your youth is renewed? Do you not know that the prophet said there is death in the pot? There is what you can eat to your death. But when it is God feeding you, you will eat in a way that yes, your so, youth is uh, renewed from there, like the eagles. Apostle Salman went on to uh, preach. So this is Apostle Joshua Salman's warm uh, acceptance speech, uh, his gratitude, his appreciation to each and everyone that celebrated him. Um, the, the, the full sermon is available on our YouTube channel. You can check it out. And it's going to be a blessing uh, to you. Uh, once again, my name is Ebenezer Amwaku Entry. Uh, and I'm the one that brought you this great update. Also, this video is sponsored by Photocentric Media. If you are a photographer and you're watching this video and you need cameras to, to, to add up to the gears you have, you can contact Photocentric Media and they, they will rent out uh, cameras to you. And also, if you are an individual that needs photography services, you need graphic design service, you need video editing, editing service, you need video graphic service, anything media, uh, you can get in touch with Photocentric Media. They'll make sure that they give you professional service. They have professionals uh, with professional gears to give you the professional and the quality work that you need. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you are new on this platform, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell icon so that when new videos are uploaded, you have access to it. Thank you so much and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.